I think a lot of people just struggle with basic etiology around what is actually causing these problems, right? The, although these are the second most common reason to see a neurologist, we still understand very little in terms of the pathophysiology. And, and that I would actually say is true of a lot of neurological disease, not just unique to FND, but for some reason, you know, I think because of the legacy of, you know, the old history around um, conversion disorder and this very strong um, perception around a psychiatric underpinning has to be there for a person to have these bodily symptoms. You know, the more and more that neuroscience in basic neuroscience is kind of uncovering, for example, the physiology of emotion and agency and, you know, these things that underlie a lot of human behavior and even the interaction of a person with the healthcare system and what is happening in that space you can have kind of pathology happening in all of these different gray areas. And we just understand little about those, but this is where FND kind of lives in this space. And I think, I think though, I, I would also say we're probably doing a disservice to a lot of other neurological disease because many, many people who have a chronic neurological illness will also have functional symptoms that come as part of that. So my patients, I treat a lot of Parkinson's disease and many of them also will have a functional tremor or they'll also have a functional gait disorder just by virtue of the fact that their brain is living with a chronic neurological illness and they have symptoms every day. There's learning that happens with that and there's an adaptation that happens in the brain and other symptoms can crop up. And so, you know, I, I think this is a fascinating area of research. It's a very active area of research. The last 10 years, we've seen a dramatic kind of resurgence of interest in this field where it was a bit dormant for the last, you know, 50 to 80 years or so, but it's, it's now becoming, you know, as, as people are understanding more and more about these mind body connections, um, people are interested in this topic. They want to learn more. They want to also understand new ways they can help and treat their patients because of what they're seeing in their clinic. And so it's a super exciting area to be in actually, you know, I, I think this is one of the most kind of interesting and challenging and um, really compelling areas of neurology right now. And so it's super fun to be at the forefront of, of what's going on there. So anybody who's interested, please contact me. We can talk about it, but yeah, it's, it's a very cool area.